hello everyone welcome to my channel it has been a long time since i have not uploaded any video as i was busy with uh, some bit of works so those who haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it by clicking the red button and the last project i uploaded was about home automation using blink app it was using an arduino with no shield so it will be a very useful project for those ones who are planning to set up uh, I mean planning to do projects on IoT and it was a very helpful project for the beginners. So I will be providing the link in the description below you can go and check out my videos. So the setup you are seeing in front of me this is a, called a LED volume unit meter or you can simply call it as LED VU meter. For this project I have used one uh, Arduino Uno. This is a home Arduino Uno so you can also call it uh, bare bone. Some jumpers. Here you can see all the LEDs and the registers. And here's, here is the mic for the analog input of the audio signal. Now the question arises in your mind and what is this volume unit meter? This VU meter measures the volume intensity of the analog audio signal. Now when it comes to meter, everyone thinks that there is something a clock like thing with scalings and there is one uh, hand that runs from zero to maximum value like uh, in speedometer or anemometer. No, it is not like that. Here we are uh, representing that hand and the scale with the help of the LEDs. The basic principle is same but the representation is a bit different. And uh, this is my meter which I have already soldered all the LEDs and uh, here this one orange and white color here is the mic or you can say condenser mic I have connected here jumpers to connect all these LEDs. So let's now discuss about the circuit diagram. So here is Arduino Uno and I have used 8 LEDs here. So the circuit diagram is uh, very simple. This portion is the input part. Here is the mic and here is the one RC circuit. From this we are giving the input to A0 pin of the Arduino Uno. That is the analog pin of the Arduino Uno. And here uh, we have connected 8 LEDs with the 220 ohm register, limiting registers. As you can see I have not used any register. Um, so that doesn't mean that it doesn't require. It requires as I am using a 5 volt for the Arduino. So there is uh, no requirement of the limiting register, but it, it will be very safe for the LEDs to use the limiting registers. Now let's see that the, how this works. So here this one is the uh, audio input signal from, I mean this is a condenser mic from here, we are giving the audio input signal. It is connected to here and uh, this one is, uh, is read by this A0 pin of the, I mean, uh, analog pin that is A0 uh, so what happens when when the music is a bit I mean when the beats of the music are not so much I mean the intensity is not so much only these two middle LEDs these two yellow LEDs which you can see these two glows as the beat I mean the in intensity of the sound increases the rest LEDs begins to glow I mean so as higher the intensity of the volume the the apart LEDs glow that much and when there is a low intensity music or audio then this between uh, these two yellow LEDs glow then the extreme LEDs doesn't glow so I have coded in such a way that uh, I have coded in that way that uh, when the music is not so much of high intensity the middle two or middle four LEDs only glow and when the music is of very high intensities then uh, all the LEDs glow according to the intensity I have given the code in my instructable the link of my instructable is given in the description below you can go there and check out my post so for any further information you can refer to my instructable I have also uploaded the Arduino code there and now I will be explaining you the code in details. So here is my Arduino code. So uh, as I was telling that uh, we have given the audio input through A0 pin of the Arduino 
analog A0 pin here the, we have declared the pin mode of A0 as input and as I have used 8 LEDs that is from pin number digital pin 3 to digital pin 10 here 3 less than 11 that is 10 for that we have uh, done pin mode of output now I have read the values as analog read A0 and here I have divided the, it with 10 it, de it solely depends upon you because for my circuit the values were coming like 40, 50, 30 so for the sake of simplicity I only divided with it with 10 to get a sim uh, more simple values like 2.3 or 2.5 like the single digit values nothing uh, not more serious to like that yeah that as I was telling that when we are giving low audio input signal only middle two LEDs were glowing see for that case when my values are less than one that means that when there is no sound not much music no sound then all the LEDs will be in zero state I mean it uh, it will not glow then when the value is from one to two some little music is there then only the three four LEDs the middle two LEDs are connected to digital pin number three and digital pin number four that two LEDs will be glow when the sound is a bit more that is when the range is on 2 to 2.5 then the middle 4 LEDs will go 3, 4 and 5, 6 the middle 2 LEDs are 3, 4 the left LED the left LED to 3 is uh, either 4 either I mean that is uh, digital number 5 and the right one to 4 is digital pin number 6 like that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 when the music is a bit higher, I mean 2.5 to 3, then the middle 6 LEDs glow. See, digital right 7 and digital right 8 in there in high state and the extreme 2 LEDs are still in low state. And when the music at, at the maximum intensity, here all the LEDs glows. Like this, the programming is very simple. It is uh, only the concepts of if and else if to just read the value, check. You have to check it through the serial monitor here. You have to check the values and you can go. So now I will be uploading the code in my Arduino board. It's taking a bit of time. Yeah, it's uh, uploading. Yeah, it's uploaded. So it's now time for the show that how this music affects the LEDs and blinking. It is very attractive. So if you like my video, please like, share. And do comment in the comment section uh, if you have any doubt you can comment it below or uh, and you can also comment me in the instructable post the link which, are, which I will be giving in the description below you can also ask me there if you have any doubt so now en enjoy the show <laughs> 